Hi guys, it's Julie from cookbyjulie.com. Today we're making onion rolls. Very easy to make and most importantly, no preservatives. Also super delicious. So let's hurry and get started. I used one yellow onion and one red onion. I chopped them finely and you want to saute them in some olive oil for about five minutes or until they're nice and softened. Make sure to season with salt. Let's prepare our yeast mixture. You'll need some warm water to activate the yeast. You want to let it sit for about five minutes and then you want to throw it in the stand mixer along with all of the other wet ingredients which include melted butter, sugar, hot milk, an egg, salt, bread flour. This recipe is fail proof by the way. I've been using this same bread recipe for years and it is the best. Go ahead and knead the dough with a dough hook until it is nice and sticky and then you want to add the cooked onions. Go ahead and throw your uh, ball of dough onto your work surface with a little bit of bread flour and then you want to place it in a greased bowl. Make sure to grease both sides of the dough so it doesn't dry out and we are then going to cover this for a minimum of one hour or until the dough doubles in size. Go ahead and throw that ball of dough onto your work surface, deflate it, add a little bit of flour and now you want to cut this into 12 equal parts. You can of course make six jumbo sandwich rolls, cheeseburger buns, or 12 mini rolls like I did. I also forgot to mention earlier that I did add a pinch of granulated onion. That is optional, but I did about half a teaspoon. Make sure that the balls of dough are super smooth. You don't want to see any lines on top. And once you're done forming all 12, you want to place them in a buttered baking dish. We're going to now cover this and we are going to let it rise for about 45 minutes and it should look like this. 45 minutes, this is what it looked like. I brushed it with some egg wash. Egg wash is just an egg with a splash of water and I then topped them off with the cooked onions. So you want to save about a quarter of the onion mixture for this part. The exact recipe along with written instructions will be over on my website cookedbyjulie.com. I baked these for about 35 minutes and the minute they came out of the oven I brushed them with some butter. Make sure to just tap it so the onions stay in place. And these were amazing. They were incredible. They were so, so good. I really hope you guys give this recipe a try and I want to thank you guys so much for watching.